when I wanted to uh, listen to music with friends when I was a kid, uh, that we'd have to be in the same location because I wasn't allowed to use the phone, uh, and I didn't have a lot of friends really. Um, so we'd sit in, around a, a record player, and uh, you know we would put a record on and put the needle on the record and listen together, and that's how we would share the experience of music or you know a read along, a book, whatever it was. Uh, you know, what would they call those things? Read-alongs? Something like that. You know, you'd have the little booklet and the record would be there and you know it's time to turn the page when you hear R2-D2 beep like this. I just don't remember that sound. I can't be the only one. So uh, today, I don't know if you guys caught the news, uh, the headline is, according to the Facebook blog, listen to music with your friends. So apparently now you can do this on Facebook. My question to you is, do you want to do this? Put me down on record as someone who doesn't care, really, what you're listening to at the time that you're listening to it. I am all about music recommendations. Don't get me wrong. In fact, I have a music recommendation to make for you beyond asking you know, the general question. Do you even care what your friends are listening to? I don't. But apparently, if you're on Facebook, you can now listen to music with friends. Really nothing different than you could do anyway. I guess you could have done this on a Google Plus Hangout. They're making it, I guess, semi-more legal on Facebook since I'm assuming they have uh, the sign off or support from any one of their uh, music partners. Uh, so uh, if you're looking for a music recommendation, if you follow me on Twitter, uh, you may have noticed a photo or I guess or on Facebook or Instagram or Google Plus or anywhere. Uh, I, I had uh, a photo uploaded earlier. Diana took a, a picture of me holding on to my stack of CDs. This, these are not the only CDs uh, that I listen to. Um, but on top here, it's an autographed CD, Moxie Fruvis. And the reason why I'm showing you this is, number one, to uh, tell you that we had uh, another video yesterday uh, talking about music uh, piracy and how I used to uh, I have piracy over the form of cassette tapes to thank for knowing about one of my favorite bands of all time. And if you're looking for a recommendation, look, dude, there may be one other band on the planet uh, that I have all the CDs for, all the albums, like own them in some physical uh, copy uh, or capacity, and that's Weird Al Yankovic. He's the only other one. I love They Might Be Giants, but I do not have all their albums in a physical, uh, uh, I guess, factor. So uh, I love Moxie Fruvis, and, and as I said yesterday, the only way I found out about Moxie Fruvis was because uh, someone sent me a cassette tape uh, with, uh, you know, from their original album, uh, Bargainville. Of course, I also went and bought every other CD and downloaded all the MP3s they had on their website. Uh, they're no longer together, sadly, but you can still listen to their music. I think pretty much their entire library is currently on Spotify, except for C, the album they call C. And uh, it, what was more interesting was that another one of uh, our followers out there, and I think, let me see if I can, I'm going to give credit where credit's due. I believe it's Doug. Uh, Doug, give me a second. Ah, I'm looking on my Google Plus page. Doug MacArthur ended up tweeting to Gian, who uh, is still producing content, specifically in conjunction with the CBC. He's got a show called Q. And you can watch those videos uh, on his YouTube channel, or at least portions of the show on the YouTube channel. Uh, and I reached out to Gian. I gave him a copy years ago when I saw Moxie Fruvis live uh, in concert, when I made a reference yesterday saying, uh, I gave him a copy of my book. Sorry, let me finish that thought. And uh, he signed, he autographed it. Cheers, Chris. Thanks for the book. I don't know if you ever read it, but that's okay. Because this morning, Doug tweeted to Gian on Twitter, and Gian responded and watched that music, or watched that music video. Watched the video of me talking about piracy, and specifically, if it wasn't for piracy, I would never have heard about Moxie Fruvis, or likely not have heard, and certainly not become a fru head like I did become um, if it wasn't for you know that kind of, of, of piracy. So I think this is a good way uh, to go, getting your friends to listen to the same kind of music that you want to listen to. The question is, do you really want to do that? At the time that they're listening to an album, do you really want to listen to the same thing? Very rarely do I find myself in that state where I want to listen exactly at the same time that someone else is listening to something anymore. I mean, as a kid, I guess I had more time on my hands. Another uh, artist that I found out about, uh, thanks to uh, dubbing a cassette tape, uh, Weird Al Yankovic, the, the artist that I referenced uh, just a couple minutes ago. And I realized that this morning, I'm like, you know, had it not been for me sharing cassette tapes, I would never have found out about uh, two of my favorite artists of all time, becoming huge fans, or a huge fan of each one of them. Uh, so uh, I was very grateful when Gian responded, and he said, yep, 
Uh, I hit the nail on the head with that discussion point uh, about piracy and how sharing can and should work. And I was right in saying that uh, Moxie Fruvis allowed for the recording of their live shows to be distributed. Uh, so I thank you, Doug. Uh, it made my decade uh, to uh, be recognized by someone who autographed an album years ago. So uh, if you want a recommendation... Moxie Fruvis is my number one music recommendation. You can listen to them right now and potentially even listen to Moxie Fruvis uh, with your friends and, and then we can be fru heads together. Are there any other fru heads out there? It can't, it can't be just me. I refuse to believe that. And I guess going back to the original question, uh, just because you can listen to music with friends, do you really want to? <laughs>